What's up guys, it's Brown again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine, and today we're going to talk about equalization techniques. And of course we're going to be focusing on the mask, but more importantly we're also going to be focusing on the full face mask. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to equalize both a traditional mask and the full face mask. Now the reason that we have to equalize, of course, is because of Boyle's Law. We understand that Boyle's Law says pressure and volume are inversely related. So as the diver goes underwater, pressure, of course, is going to be increasing. And of course, we call this ambient pressure. It's the surrounding pressure around the diver. And as that pressure increases, the diver's air spaces, his lungs, his sinuses, his ear canals, are, are going to start shrinking in volume, if you will. The air space itself does. So we have to learn to equalize that air space back out. Now, not only do our natural air spaces need to be equalized, so does our artificial air spaces, such as our dive mask, our dry suits, and stuff like that. So when we wear a traditional style mask, there's two things that we really have to equalize. One is the mask space itself, and all you have to do is simply exhale through your nose with just a little bit of back pressure, and that will equalize the ambient pressure surrounding the mask. But now, of course, we also have to equalize our ears as well. There's three ways that we do that. Of course, we can swallow. When we swallow, we're creating negative pressure, which pulls the food down into our stomach, if you will. And at the same time, it creates positive pressure, which pushes up into our air spaces. Of course, we can rotate our jaw. A lot of instructors will call this chewing gum. Simply, anytime you chew gum, you're creating positive pressure here in your mandible bone, and it'll create that positive pressure up into your airspace to decolize as well. And of course, the Valsalva technique is probably the most common, which our diver buddy here is actually doing. He's simply holding his nose and blowing air up through his lungs or forcing it up through the eustachian tubes into his ears. And that's pretty much how we equalize a traditional mask. However, when we deal with a full face mask, especially an integrated version like this, sometimes it becomes a little bit difficult to do that because we're unable to actually reach in and grab our nose like we are on a scuba mask. So there's several different things you can do. Of course, you can use the swallowing method. You can use the rotating your jaw method, but the Valsalva method is not very common as far as actually reaching up and grabbing your nose. Well, most full face mask manufacturers will actually build in a device that allows you to do it. And I'm not sure if you can see it with the light here, but on this particular one, this is the Ocean Reef G Divers. A lot of you guys have seen this model before. This is my personal model. There's two little nose pieces in there and they're adjustable up and down and back and forth. And I can actually pop them out and add additional supports to them. And basically this is all it is, just a little piece of silicone. And what I do is I get it positioned just right so that it blocks off the nostrils of my nose. So when I go to equalize this guy, all I have to do is put a little bit of pressure on the front of the mask to where those two little silicone pieces block off my nose, and then I can still use the Valsalva method. Once again, I need to equalize simply because of the surrounding pressure, the ambient pressure that surrounds my head and those air spaces. I gotta be able to put back pressure on it to equalize. So once again, with a full face mask, all you've got to do is simply wiggle your jaw, swallow, or do the Valsalva by simply pressing in on it, letting those two nose pieces block off your nostril, and you can simply do the Valsalva method and equalize just like you do with a traditional mask. So guys, we equalize simply because of Boyle's Law. As pressure increases, the volume decreases inside our air spaces, and we have to learn how to equalize it out so that we don't get any type of squeeze. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions on equalization techniques, check out the SSI Science of Diving class. It's gonna give you a little bit more in-depth or in-depth detail of the physics behind scuba diving and how exactly equalization works. Guys, if you've got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.